Alright, how are we doing? Good morning from South Central Vietnam. Today we're doing something a little different. I'm going to give you a bit of a day in the life when we're not travelling, when we're not moving around. What better way to start than with a house tour? Now we're staying here for a month and we're paying 330k dong a night. And I'm going to show you what you get for that. So, what should we start with? We've got this wind chime. How about this? Not everywhere you get a wind chime, is it? We've also got a kitchen, which let's be honest, we're not going to be using because we're in Vietnam. It's a sin to cook in Vietnam because there's so much delicious food everywhere. But we have a kettle and a hob nonetheless. Kitchen tour over. I'll take you into the house. So, as you'll see, we've got these beautiful hand-painted paintings on the wall. They're all over the house and the owner has done them himself. I like that. So, as soon as we step through the door, you'll see we've got this big open like living area space, leashes there working away. And this is really cool, like look at all the space we've got. And then, as you can see, all the windows letting so much natural light and that is exactly what you need when you're staying somewhere. So, what have we got? We've got one fan, two fan. Again, you really need those because it's so hot. And it's really cool, we've got a TV, we've got a guitar. I can't play the guitar. We've got some Vietnamese books. I can't read Vietnamese books, but they're there. We have got a fridge, we've got a little Buddhist corner. Again, more of these paintings, so it is actually really nice, nicely decorated. We've got a little stone teapot that we've been making our own tea in, look at that. Quickly show you the bedroom, we've got a sliding door. There we go. And it's nice in here, it? it's really cool because we've got the aircon behind us. The aircon is crucial. The cr in a bedroom, all you need is an aircon and a bed. So we've got all the grounds covered there. Some more nice paintings. Yeah, really nice. I'll take you into like the, the back room. We'll go through the bead door. Not really a door, is it? But... Right, so here we've got the bathroom. Really basic, we've just got the toilet, shower, sink, but there's nothing more that you need again. So there we go. Here we have got a washing machine which is a lifesaver, it's just so easy just to be able to do the wash whenever you want and not have to hand wash or go to like the laundrette or whatever we've got a clothes drying rack we've got the um, Pamelo store how about this for fashion? look at that, we've been wearing this everywhere we go it smells good and then here we've got this little pulley to let the sun in and obviously if it rains we shut that but I think that's to like maybe let some like like a fresh breeze in or to dry the clothes I don't know but it's quite cool isn't it so yeah that is pretty much it for the house tour it's a really nice place to be fair really chilled out yeah I don't think I have anything more to say there we go what do you think of it Leish? yeah it's good I love it um, it just feels like really nice to stay in this neighbourhood because literally we walk out and we're so close to everything. Yeah. Perfect. Literally, the second we step out this door, as you see, there is just food everywhere. I mean, this is Vietnam. So, yeah, we're super happy to be here. Let's head on with the day and just show you what's going on. All right, guys. So, we'll just show you the little alley where we're staying. It's like proper Vietnamese alley life. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. So, you can see people's houses all in these tight little streets. Look at this. And let me tell you, there's a lot of karaoke parties going on in here. I'll tell you that. Now, you can see it's a bit flooded, a bit wet, because this is the first day it's like heavily rained. The weather's been beautiful, and today it's been a bit rainy, so... Xin chào. Hello. YouTuber. YouTuber, yes. Do you want to say hello? Hey. <laughs> okay, so, let's go and get some breakfast. All right, so there's just so much choice of where to eat here in Hue Nhon City and Vietnam in general. There's just an abundance of amazing food. But this spot is one that we keep coming back to and we are going to get Ban Kun. It's a really good little spot, this. Have you ordered? Cho no. Toi Ban Kun Hai. Okay. She already knows our order anyway. Yeah, she, she knows. She was over and she was like... Because <laughs> we've been going to like a lot of the same places. Like we found all the really good spots when we go. We're like regulars now. They just. The other day I went somewhere and she just uh, said two bowls, yeah, and then just whipped us them up. So yeah, we'll let her make this, it's really good. Come in. 
perfect. This looks absolutely delicious. Honestly. All right, the food's here. Now this plate costs 25,000 dong and it's so delicious, so fresh. Like I said, this is a spot we've been frequenting. So in here we have got, underneath we've got the steamed rice batter. I was gonna call them rolls, but they've not rolled them up here. They like kind of serve them in sheets. And then we've also got pieces of grilled pork. We've got bean sprouts, we've got all the fresh herbage on top. We've also got, is it cha lua, the like Vietnamese pepper spiked cold cut, Vietnamese sausage. And then what we do with this is dip it into our dipping sauce. So, like so. And this sauce has got carrot and papaya in, fish sauce, chili, all the good stuff. Let's get some of the papaya. Mmm, so good. It's really good. Yeah, it's super fresh. Like, we've got all the herbage in this dish. Let's get all this veg. Oh, I just dropped some. Let's try and give all that a dip in the sauce. That's going to be a big mouthful. Absolutely. Delicious. So fresh. It's like the perfect breakfast. I've noticed we've also got these little green chilies. That's gonna be really spicy. Pretty spicy. And yeah, just a super local breakfast spot. Side of the road. We got some free jada. Ice tea, I think it's iced tea, let's find out. I don't know, there's water. Everywhere else it's usually iced tea. Here we're just on water. Still good. Oh no, it's tea. It's, it's, it's just a clear tea. It's nice. Right, guys, we're just grabbing a quick bunny from this little alley. Both bow nil. Muy high. Okay, come on. So we've got our little bunny, and it's 12,000 dong. 12,000 Vietnamese dong. Okay, come on. Now, this alley we're in here is full of delicious food. There is so much stuff down there. What we're going to do is get this and take it to the coffee shop around the corner, our local coffee shop. The one we go to every day because the people are super nice. So yeah, here you get to see a bit of Wignon City. One of the only skyscrapers in the city is right there, look at that. And there is loads of apartments in there which are also super cheap to stay in. Now, before we stayed here we were looking. The some are pretty affordable. Right guys, so this one is our favourite coffee shop, TCV Coffee, so we're just grabbing two ice coffees and we're going to take it into the beach over there we're going to show you the beach so to put it into perspective this is our favorite coffee shop this is our alley so our house is literally there and then there is the beach oh this car oh. silent these electric cars are so silent you've got to be careful you don't get run over anyway there is the beach this is how close we are to the beach so we'll show you that in a minute when we get our coffee Right, so we got our coffees for takeaway today. I thought we'd bring them to the beach because it's literally like a 15 second walk from where we're staying. Look how beautiful it is. I'll show you more of the beach in a second. Let's try this coffee. So good, it's super strong. It makes a strong coffee though. So this is just a cafe soda, which is just like a coffee with condensed milk. This is 16,000 dong. And we also got this ban mi, which is... 12,000 dong and to be fair it's really good this spot it's the one I um, go to pretty much every day like for my second breakfast no messy but delicious it's got all kinds of coriander carrot papaya egg there's like boiled egg in there a few different Vietnamese cuts of meat, pork floss, it's really good. 12,000 dollars steel, that's a really good price. 
and she also chops these little fresh chilies up for me. Mmm, really good. Is that my coffee? How's the coffee, Leish? It's really good, but it's so strong and extremely bitter as well. But it's really good. I'm going to have to sit here to be fair because we've not really sat here and taken in our surroundings. Like, look at how beautiful it is. I tell you what, Queen Yon City is such a beautiful place. Look at this. Look how nice the beach is. This is the city beach and it's so nice. Like The sand is super soft. There's not litter everywhere. It's beautiful. We've got the mountains. Wow, it's just such a nice view. And it's the exact same on the other side. There's a port down there as well. So yeah, we've got volleyball, nets. We've got this big area behind the beach. It's like almost like a park, you know, down the, the beach from. We've got exercise machines if you want to use them. It's well nice and it's not too built up. Like there's not many huge skyscrapers, is there? It's, it's a quite nice little city. That's the biggest building, but the rest, you know, it's chilled out. It's got a proper chilled out feel. Super nice place. So let's just have a look at the sea while we're here. Sand, like I said, it's actually quite nice and soft for a city beach. Let's do a little water test. So you can see there is a tiny bit of litter, but it's not that much. Now, also just noticed, the chilli has washed up. Why is that there? Should I pick that up and eat it? God knows where that's been. Yeah, so here we go, let's do a water test. Oh, it's well, it's refreshing. I thought it was gonna be hot, but it's, uh, it's cool, it's nice. See, there's a family over there swimming. Obviously in the middle of the day, Vietnamese people are all hiding from the sun. Only us uh, mad Englishmen are out. In the evening, this is so busy. Might show you after. But yeah, this is super nice. So you can come here for a swim and to just chill out. There we go, on with the day. <laughs> no problem mate, don't worry about it. It was lovely to meet you. Have a fantastic day. Ooh. What the fuck? He's not your biggest fan! All right then, we're back at the house now. So what I'm gonna do is run you through what a typical day kind of looks like for us. So we'll get up super early, like 6 a.m. and then we'll work for a few hours. We'll go for breakfast, as you just saw. Then we'll come back and work for another like four or five hours. Now, when I say working, what I mean is Lee should be teaching English online and I'll be doing all the back-end YouTube stuff. So the creating thumbnails, the video editing, replying to comments, titles, descriptions, all that. And then what we'll also do in between that both of us is the trip planning because there's actually a lot of time and effort that goes into that like deciding where we're going to go how are we going to get there like booking hotels making like a decent itinerary you know, there's a lot of time into that so that's pretty much what we do that's like the bulk of our work and then when it gets like lunchtime, we will go to the gym so i'm going to take you along now and show you that right we're on the way to the gym now it's like a 15 minute walk in the scorching 35 degree heat Oh, it's hot, I tell you. So I'll see you when we get there. On the way to the gym, we found some puppies. Look at this, how cute is this? Oh, it's so Hello. cute. So man. cute, look at his little black face. Look, there's a little one there. And there's this geezer here. Hello. Oh, are you cute? <laughs> You're a bit scared, eh? How cute are they? A puppy can um, always brighten up your day. What's this you've got here? Oh, look, he just so wants snuggles. You have got a little pot oh, belly, haven't you? Look at that. Cute. Very cute. Look at boink, how boink. cute I am, honestly. Alright, then here we are at the best gym in Queen Anne City, the Ozone. 
Now we paid 300k a month to train at this gym and it's really good. It's got three floors here and then it's got another room I'll show you as well. So we've got a fingerprint scanner. How about that? And it actually tells you how many times you've been on there. So this is the... What is this? This is like full body apart from back and legs which is next door and then there's a cardio upstairs and a yoga pilates as well. Now what I'll also show you is the other room we've got because it's split into two sides this gym. It's really small. Look at how big it is. And it's air in there as well so it's well good. So over here is the legs and back room. And abs upstairs as well I forgot. So we've got another huge room with like your squat racks and places to deadlift and all your leg machines they've got all kinds of stuff in here it's well good so here we go to jam really really good gym i tell you that it's one of the best gyms we've been now you might be looking at me and think ellis you feel like you've never been to the gym in your life and you're right before we came traveling two years ago i used to go to the gym every day believe it or not but I've not been since, I've not been in two years, so I'm just a withered shell of what I used to be. But we're making that right this month. We're going to the gym every day near enough. Or like <laughs> every two days on the full body routines again. So yeah, there we go. We'll do big fat workout and then we'll go for lunch. It's really cool in here as well. You take your shoes off, so um, everyone just trains barefoot. It's the best way to do it. There's free water, you get a um, you get a towel every time. It's a really good gym. So we'll um, crack on now with that. Where's the towels? They're somewhere around here. I don't know where they are doing here. Right? So yeah, we'll um, crack on now. She's on the tricep push downs. She's doing it large, doing it big time. Look at that form. Look at those puppies. They're almost ripping through that t-shirt. He's gonna need some new t-shirts again. <laughs> You're not working hard enough if you can pull them faces. You're not working hard enough if you can pull those faces. Your arms should be feeling like they're about to set on fire and spontaneously, spontaneously combust. I reckon you could tip me upside down and make a sweat cocktail. He agrees. Ellis isn't waking hard enough. He can have this conversation with me. <laughs> so I have to edit this funny because they're blasting copyright tunes. But I'm just going to quickly show you the gym. We've got all kinds of stuff in here. All proper good modern gear. Super hot, you just drip buckets of sweat, but there is earth on and there's fans in this room, so it's a lifesaver. We've got all the free weights, incline bench, flat bench, other chest machines. It's got everything. This gym is such a good gym, and like I said, we're paying 300,000 dong for a month. Cracking price for such a good gym. All is lovely. All zone gym, Queen on City. All right, guys, there we go. That was an absolute brutal. That was like a two hour full body workout. It's so hot, honestly, like you sweat buckets. But you get a free towel, so it's all okay. Really good, that. All on gym is proper good gym, I tell you that. And yeah, it's just good to um, have a routine again and go to the gym, feel healthy, feel strong. It makes you feel good, doesn't it? So I think we're in desperate need of some lunch, quick post-workout meal, and I'm sure that's gonna be super easy because we're in Vietnam, there's just food everywhere, so. How was the workout? I loved it. Uh, this gym is so good. I love Granddad in there, it was so cute. This little old chap walked in, absolute unit, and started like helping this guy on the gym, on the, on the machine. <laughs> it's a really good gym though, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good, and yeah. The value for money is absolutely insane. The value for money is there. The people are really nice. Like, it's weird in the gyms here, everyone's just so nice. Yeah. Like, 
no one has an ego it's just really strange everyone's like nice from like the absolute units just to your average standard joe everyone's um people are just kind not judgmental no one gives you shit eye no one looks at you yeah no one everyone just focuses on themselves enough talking let's get some food this looks shut they sell me wang there which is dish i really want to try we've not had that since we were in danang last time but we'll get some it's like three o'clock so this is when like all the afternoon food starts to open two three o'clock because everything's open in the morning and then there's like a 12 till 2 break where everyone sleeps and the streets are just deserted which is when we go to the gym because it's empty and then after that everything opens up again so let's go vamanos say ciao hello let's see what we can get what do you fancy uh maybe I mean, I'm really tempted to say bunt it nong, but we eat bunt it nong like literally every single day. We eat it religiously. Yeah, but there's a lady on the front. Sometimes she's there and sometimes she's not. So I don't know if that could be an option. What do you think? I don't know. I'm that tired, I can't decide. I don't want something hot. Maybe we should just get a small food. snack until after. Yeah, like so, ah, maybe some rolls. What's this, this one? Uh, ba 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 new. Ba 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 uh, two thousand oh, okay. So this lady's saying like these super typical looking homemade snacks. <laughs> and they look really good, so we're gonna get some. So these, are, these are two and these are three. This is like banana cake. Bye. Okay, Bye. goodbye, goodbye. Yes, Gang so much, <laughs> this is like banana cake with coconut. This looks yeah. good to me. This, she says this is stuffed with coconut. What is this one? This one's also different. Good like a uh, post workout sugar fix, I guess. Get these. What's this like poo like, like steam yeah, rice? Like yeah. This is the most delicious. <laughs> but this looks good. Okay, let's get these. Three one each. Yeah. Chotoy, yeah. hi. Oh she's got those too, those fried snacks. Come on. Okay, come on. Got a little snack. There we go. I think we should grab a coconut as well because everybody literally sells coconuts, like fresh coconut. And they're so good on a hot day when you're dehydrated as well. These though, is this vit vit lawn? Vit lawn? Ah, oh, this is vit vit lawn. Ah. This this nyon nyon wa. Oh, okay. Hello, xin chào. <laughs> so they've actually got um, balu fertilized stuff here. I might get one of them. And they're also selling bun mei. We can see all the coriander under here, all the, um, the meats, the eggs. This might be a good little spot. Oh. Bo nil. Tam. Tam nil. Cho cho toi mot mot bit yon. We'll just get one. Perfect after gym snack, yeah? Yeah. What, um, what's better than an after gym snack than a um, fertilised duck egg? A duck fetus. <laughs> Gives you the strength, doesn't it? <laughs> so I don't really know how to eat these very well. I'm actually really bad at it. Is there like a pocket that you're meant to crack? This is like one <laughs> shot you an absolute idiot. <laughs> How are you meant to do this? It's like break a little hole in the top where you can sip the juice out of it. There's shell everywhere. I don't know what I'm doing, Lee. She can't do that. Well, she was just keeping the seed warm for the heifer. So there we go. It smells good, or is it just all these herbs on the table? Oh no, it's not this that smells good. <laughs> it's all the other stuff. So you sip the juice out of the shell. So yeah. cheers. Oh, it's really good. It's super rich. And now is where we scoop it out, isn't it? And eat it with this. So we've got this like, it's like a mixture of pepper, chili, and lime, maybe, I don't know. And we got our Vietnamese coriander as well. So, yeah. so I don't really know what I'm doing. I've kind of ripped the top off, and I think you just scoop some of this sauce she's made in and like pick it out. Every time we eat them, we eat them differently. So this is the nice yolk bit, this is the delicious bit. Man, it's salty and peppery. That's super delicious, that bit rich, creamy yolk. Where's the um, oh, the duck? Oh, that's salty, that stuff. Oh, there it is. Doesn't look very appetizing, does it? They're really rich, honestly. <laughs> These 
to eat it with a rail run. So it's missing no, that bit of freshness. Otherwise, it tastes really heavy and rich. Because this leaf is the best thing on earth. So yeah, there we go. If you look inside, you can kind of see what's in there. It's the um, duck fetus. Not too crunchy. Oh, there's some of the body. Yeah, it must be a... Um... Oh, there's like the foot. I think it's a young one. They're all different. Yeah, these, these herbs make it really fresh. Hmm. Not the best one I've had, but it's alright. It all depends on the seasonings you put in, like the sauces. Alright. It can make it really good. Like this. A bit too salty for me. Oh, come on. We've also grabbed a bambi because how could we not? It looks really good. Auntie just whips it up here with all these fresh ingredients. And they also have nim. So Alicia's got some of the air um, like. <laughs> Like sour port you can see here. Now this stuff is like some of the best stuff on the planet. You can give it a little dip in your chili and soy sauce and honestly I love it. It's like black pepper spiked. It's sweet. Well done. Let's get a Bambi review. How is it? I've got egg and bread though. They look really good because you put all this sauce in, where is it? Oh, it's in there. So yeah, you can have some of the Vietnamese coriander. Proper little post-workout snacks, by the way. Look at Auntie, she's a legend. Is it good? Yeah, it's in this little thing here. Maybe if I have a little peek, she'll let me out. Um... Oh, it looks good, that. Looks really good, doesn't it? She didn't see me, it's all right. That bread's just, that, the, the Vietnamese bread, the banh mi, it's just so good, like. Look at that, it's stuffed. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That's one of the best bambus we've had in Queen on City. That's a really good one. The bread's really good, isn't it? Yeah, that's really good, that. Mm. Well good. Yeah, so this is a fairly young duck embryo because the white is absolutely solid in the egg and I've just noticed she's also got this sauce which I've just put all over it let's try that oh wow what is that it's sweet it's almost like milk it what is that oh that is delicious it's a little bit sour oh I can't I don't know what I can tell you that is it tastes like so familiar it's spicy, it's almost creamy milky. What is that? There's a coconut milk in that. I don't know. I don't know. Really good though. And then the white in there honestly. It's like a like a rubber or for all you Americans an eraser. So chewy. Almost inedible. Granny's getting maybe on the It's just character central. Look, everyone's covered up fully because of the sun, honestly. <laughs> That's being unfair. Covered head to toe so they don't tan. <laughs> then we got these desserts, didn't we, from that lady. And you can see the coconut through there. It's like, you know what it looks like to me before you tell me what you think it looks like? Those alien toys when you're a right, kid. get in the bin. Is that what you were going to yes. say? Yes. Oh. And literally, what happens is, right, usually is I say something, like something looks like something, and then Ellis goes, Oh yeah, and then he turns the camera on and he says the exact same thing. Yeah, that time I didn't. That time I thought the yeah, same thing as you. Yeah, but you had to get you. in there before I said it, didn't you? <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. Go on, try it. There's sesame seeds on top as well. Ooh! <laughs> Good. Not too sweet. Honestly, it's not that sweet at all. Let's try it. It's like actual coffee. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not sweet, it's like really like, chewy like gluttonous. Is it tapioca? Uh oh. That jelly. Bow new. Bow new. Mot ban mai. Mot vit lon. Mot nem. Oh, hai nem. Hai sao. 26. 
non hua gammon. <laughs> yeah, the bami were well good. Non hua mà rẻ nữa. Non hua. Sắt non. Okay, perfect. Gammon. Oh, goodbye. So it, yeah. Okay, goodbye. Really cool little spot that we've not actually been there before, but it's just tucked on this little umbrella at the side of the road. Granny's just a legend. She's just there hustling. Just one of the um, legendary stern Vietnamese aunties. So yeah, I think we might actually go have a coconut now. I say this for a day in the life, like we're working all day. It looks like we're doing absolutely nothing, don't you? But I promise you, when we're not out, we're in the room just sat on our laptop. I promise you. What the hell? Well, out in the middle of the road here. Yeah. What, what can we do? Is it like? Hello. <laughs> nice guy. I was actually just trying to film that man doing some disco in classic Vietnamese style, no eye protection, no anything. Then we nearly got run over by 17 cars. So we're going to grab a coconut down here on this street. There's a lady selling them. They're actually selling them everywhere, but we like this lady. Oh, well, we got some old blocks there playing some sort of game. But what was that? There was some sort of strange game. They're so cute because when you ask someone how old they are in Vietnam, the rule is you usually like look at how old they look and then you add 10 years and then that's generally their age. Um, so when I see like a granny who looks about 90, I'm like, wow, I don't even want to know <laughs> how old they are. Xin chào, cho cho tôi hai hai dừa. We'll get two coconuts. There's 16,000 each here, which is an all right price. We'll get to. So she just hacks them off in here or somewhere over there. Let's see. I think the Hefe is hacking them off into there. Right, we'll sit down. Ah, this is gonna be good. Come on. Oh, so there's another one coming out. I'll just show you this. So we've got a colden. She had them in a little ice cooler. This looks so good. It's ice cold. Let's have a swally on that. That good, you almost sip it once mm. and you just want to drink it in three seconds flat. You don't get much in them, but it's good. So, where do we do it? Yeah, on this little thing. Can I do it? Can I? Right. So, you just do one. <laughs> I could use the camera. Just once. That is. How do you do that? It's so tough. It's so hard to do. You do it like this and then hit. You're gonna have to do it. I can't do it. You have to show us how it's done. I feel like I'll break his wooden thing if I start smashing it down. Oh, is that? Oh, sorry. I was thinking he wouldn't want me to do that. Okay. Oh, come on. Perfect. That was delicious. I was thinking he wouldn't want me to slam it down onto his thing. Like, I thought I was going to snap the wood, but... Mate, I look like a right flunk now. He probably thinks I'm at home. He was like this. <laughs> he wasn't sure what you were doing. And then we have got the coconut flesh. Look at all that. That is good stuff. That is what you want. Really good stuff. Look. Oh, it's so refreshing, isn't it? Mm. Coconut's one of the best things in the world. Let's scrape it out. It's hard to do one under, actually, but... I think she's going to jump in and help. Using these arms that have just trained. Oh. There we go. Mm. So these are 16 each, and I've got an absolute wad of two. So I'm giving this man the biggest wad of money I've ever seen. Okay. Bamu hai. Okay, come on. Thank you, sir. Perfect. And they also sell cafe. You have cafe morning. Okay. They sell coffee for 10,000 and sugar cane juice for a big 10 and a small 7,000. Okay, come on, suka. Right, so, what we're going to do now is go back to the house and get some more stuff done until we head out after for some tea. We'll go for some food. I think we might go to a spot just down there that looks really good. Yeah, that's the plan. All right, then we just got back. Now, before I jump in the shower, I realized 
we've got a beautiful young man here in our fridge to feast on. Are you ready for this? Here she is. Any guesses what she is? You can smell her before you've seen her. There she is, the unveil. We've got a huge piece of durian we've saved. We bought a durian yesterday for 90,000 for like a two kilogram durian. Pretty good price, a man just drives around selling them. Vietnamese durian and oh, it's so good. And now I just also need to show you my personal favorite feature of this house. And that is none other than the pig stool. Look at this guy, I love it. It's got a little tail. It's got the little googly eyes. I absolutely love it. So, this is the biggest piece in the durian. Sleeping cat. Look at the size of that, oh my. We also got another little piece. We actually had like four or five big pieces. It was a huge durian. So yeah, here we go. And we've put it in the freezer because like when you're in these hot climates, it's like the most beautiful dessert on the planet, honestly. It really does the job. It's gonna be good. Right, there we go, look at that piece, it looks so good, it's nice and frozen, it's going to be like a dessert. Alicia's got a piece as well. Mm -hmm. This is a treat, isn't it? Yeah, it's a treat, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Let's try it. So good frozen, man. It's ice cold. Mmm. Mm. Like ice cream. Mmm, it's like ice cream. It's not, this doing is not as, um, rich and creamy mm. as others like the the mousse and king we've had but it's still absolutely delicious it's sweet it's not overly sweet though I and mean, it's still creamy mm. it's still very good it's just not as extreme it's a little bit milder than some of the ones we've had before like mm. the the high level durian but still really really good some people like this type of durian more mm. oh it's well good how oh, is it still a little bit stinky it's I think, not yeah. like super sweet, but it is good. It's very mild. It's um, very refreshing. This isn't like, I know this is meant to be like what we do in a normal day, but we don't buy a durian every single day. <laughs> this is like a treat. <laughs> right, we showered up feeling fresh, feeling alive again, and I've just realised that was the most legendary post-workout meal ever. So we had duck fetus and durian. How about that, eh? So what we're going to do now is a bit more work. Leachy's going to teach English. I'm going to do a lot of this editing and then again trip planning, you know how it is and then you will see us when the sun goes down and we head out for some food after, that is the plan. But I've just realised we've made some teas, we bought a big bag of um, Vietnamese tea in Saigon, it's really delicious, mm. it's actually really good, so yeah we'll see you after. Great, sun's going down, so we've just nipped to the beach across the road, and I'm just going to show you how busy it is. It's crazy, it's like a completely different place today. At like what, what time do we go? Like 9am, there was nobody here, and now look, there's about a million people everywhere. So busy. So many people, loads of people playing volleyball, it's mad. It's absolutely mad, it's like golden hour though, look how beautiful the view is, like the mountains. Well nice, and then over the other side as well. If I show you, there's so many people, it's crazy. And everyone's staring at me now, but... What's this, Lee? I'm just stretching my shoulder, that's scary. Lee's doing a bit of shoulder stretching on the... Um, oh, the I mean, Tiet Bi Ta Ko Tai Lon. This does the exact same thing, though. <laughs> I don't know what this is even for, to be honest. It's just twist as you move it, so it's just like stretch your shoulder. Right, so this is the other side of the beach. Down there, I swear, there is about a million people. It looks so busy down there, maybe there's a big hotel, I have no idea. We've got legendary photo shoots here with the uh, Vietnamese aunties. Look at this, how glamorous. And yeah, it proper comes alive at night, it's like a different bloody place. But yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Because the, the mountains, because the, the sun's gone down, you can proper see the green. It's, it is so beautiful. It's re it is really nice here. So, what we're going to do is go for some food, so we're going to head into Queen Yon City, somewhere down there. We'll find a good snack spot. We're gonna go for something new tonight, I don't know, so yeah. It's actually really lovely temperature to go for a walk right now. It's nice, it's isn't really it? Really nice, yeah. Proper funny, this family here are all getting on this little bike. All one, two, there's four of them all getting on. Straight out the seat, straight onto the bike and they're off. Everyone does that, it's proper funny, like, everyone comes out the seat 
and just walks through town like it's like the bloody the walk so you see everyone walking barefoot all the way back to the hotel or like with a life jacket on and barefoot it's really funny like dripping so it's a different city now and it? it's super busy still nothing compared to like saigon or hanoi though food time just need to show you something quick this is that coffee shop we always come to over here next door to us and I really don't understand this, so it says coffee makes me happy and then it says love and cough cannot be hid. If anybody can explain what that means, I'll give you 100 quid because that's like a bloody a riddle. I think I'm falling in love with you. I've got to, you've got to love these weird broken English things, it's like, what is that? So this here is the spot, we walked past this the other day, we thought we'd check it out and see what's going on. They sell like all kinds of little snacky bits so we'll get maybe we'll get a little mix hey ciao, hello hello oh drinks can i ask today do you have do you have cut cut long you have yeah ah, bowl new okay uh, jo, jo mut, and then we will look and we'll get something else okay oh. yeah mut, mut. oh <laughs> I need to fill off the chair uh, and a drink. Do you, what, we get a drink? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the menu. Let, let us look. All right, let's see what we've got. They've got all kinds of stuff now. I think this is a bit of a young person spot. Cause they sell that like, Korean food. That what's it called? They're calling it tteokbokki here, yeah. which is the um, are they like the rice cake, whatever. So they sell like grilled name like the sour pork. They sell that ban banchan chon, whatever it is. We'll have a look. Right, they don't have much here, it's just kind of snacky little bits. I think it's more like young people food. But they have this, which is something that I actually really enjoy. So these are the quail balu, so like the um, quail fetuses. We've got loads in here, we've got about 10. And then it's in some sort of sweet looking sauce. We'll try that, it looks like we've got loads of Vietnamese coriander in there. Look at these little bad boys. You see the feathers on them, the feathery ones. I think that's fried garlic on the top, or shallot. And then yeah, usually this comes in like a tamarind sauce, but this looks a bit different. So let's just give it a little taste, the sauce. Oh, which one's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, peach, peach, okay. So I've got a peach tea as well. Let's give that a mix up. Oh, it's dangerous, dangerously good. Oh, wow, you just wanna smash it. Right. They don't have bread, they don't have any bun me. I'm really upset about it because it's so nice just to like dip in for like made little sandwiches, but it's all right, we'll make them. Is the camera on? Yeah. So let's just try one of these, eh? Sauce is nice, actually, I got sidetracked. Sauce is really sweet. Oh, that was a crunchy one. Are these like fully developed quail fetuses? That was quite had a bit of a crunch. So yeah, look at that. Mm. Really tasty though. Maybe it was the, the white of the egg. Mm. If you don't want to try the um, the ball out, the duck, quail fetuses, whatever. What round about? If you're scared of trying the duck fetus, the big, the ball out, the bit lawn or whatever they call it. This is a good entry level snack because it's small, it's bite size, so Ooh, more food to have. So I guess it's a lot more tolerable, alright? I guess it will be. To me they're all delicious. Fried um, garlic on top of thing. It's really good. It is really good. Just need that fun made to um, dip. Ah, oh, come on. Wow. What's it? Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, so I've got ep bui, which is pomelo. It used a full pomelo in it. Yeah, and I think you put milk in there because it looks like it's got some sort of milk. That's so good. Oh, wow. It's like a pomelo milkshake. That is delicious. How much of that? 20k. It's really 20k? Good. Oh, that is good. That's so strange, like a pomelo milkshake. Yeah. It's nice. A little bit bitter. Got that bitter pomelo aftertaste. That's a funny one. Now the nem nuns come. 
which is the grilled like sour pork. We've got five of these, they're 4k each. And then you unwrap them and dip them into this like soy sauce with loads of cut up chilies in. Who's this? We've got a little dog or oh his balls are hanging up. Oh we don't want to see that when we're eating. Screw them off. Okay, so let's try and get these off. You've got to unwrap them so we'll be back in a sec. So we did a bit of investigating, we found out in Leash's Ban Chang Chom. The mystery meat in there is pig heart. How is it? I've never eaten pig heart. Not that bad. Um, I'm gonna... It's quite good. It tastes porky, um, but there is a bit of a gamey aftertaste. But the texture is like completely different in liver. It's not as quite as chalky as liver. Really? Mm. Mind if I just try a yeah, little yeah. piece? Oh, we've got a friend. My little friend here wants well, some of the pig art. Yeah. It smells alright. I think that's real good. I think the texture's different. Mm. Yeah, it's. A... Yeah, it's just a slightly chalky texture. Mm. Tastes good though, only a tiny bit gamey that. Maybe it's got an aftertaste. Yeah. But I hate to know it's only not menu. You're gonna eat it with all the other stuff, so we've got some of the veg. Let's get some of this, um... What is it? Mango. Mango, there's a cucumber there as well, just mango. Yeah. Some of the mango and the chopped up rice. Paper, whatever it is. Now it tastes better. Everything mixed together in your mouth. Hmm. Put it on pig art. Our little friend is under the table. Does he like the camera? That's you. Can you see yourself in the lens? It's not very <laughs> Thinks he's gonna get lucky, thinks he's gonna get some pig heart, but he's wrong. Maybe he'll get a little bit. Oh mate, we'll not take his eyes off us now. Leash has befriended the wrong man. She gave him a little bit of that heart and that's it now, it's our best mate. So we're gonna try this name. We took it out of the leaves and we've snipped it up and you can see it's got a nice char to it. So this is grilled, this is Nem Nung. And we've got this dip, so let's give it a little dippy. Oh, it's hard to get the chilies, you need to eat them separate. Cheers. I just crunched through a huge peppercorn. It was so good. That's, that's how you do it. Mm, that's good. You know what that tastes like? It's well, like an English sausage. It's tasty. It's the black pepper for me, and these are heavily spiked with it, it seems, or that piece anyway. It's almost a little bit spicy, the peppercorn. I wonder if I can dip it in this. Is this allowed? I'm doing it anyway. It's really good that name. I'm gonna hand it to it. It's really good. You can see the peppercorns there, can you see? Well good. What? Go on. And that is why the dog won't leave us alone because Leech won't stop feeding it. Damn muy high. Damn high. Got 92. 82. So this has actually cost us more than anything else, anywhere else. So we've had a lot of less food. Okay. Damn muy. Okay, thank you. Okay, non hua. Non hua. Okay, gamun. I mean, it was tasty, but I just think value for money. Like anywhere else is so much better than like that place. That's like a snacky place you go. Maybe like young people go. Not really where we usually eat, but I went for the uh, the quail eggs, which were delicious. So 
I'm gonna grab something else on the way home and then round this video off. So I realised we haven't actually eaten that much food today. Usually we eat a lot more food, like a lot more calories. Today's been a bit funny. But we're gonna go to this little spot. This lady's like a legendary Zoe seller, like a sticky rice seller. And it's 20k a portion. So we're gonna get one of these, take it back to the room, and you just have that for like supper. So we'll just get one. Say ciao. Ciao, sorry, mut. So this is like quail legs in this super rich, delicious, salty sauce with like pork steaks. And she throws all kinds of ingredients just over the sticky rice. She's got a huge, huge tub of sticky rice though. Look at that steaming away. It's really good. And then there's also like a, it's also a restaurant that sells pho and like um, different noodle soups. So yeah, it's really good. Okay. Come on. So that lady is a legend, I think. She's like the busiest sticky rice seller in the whole area and it's, it is really good. It's one of our local spots, so I'll take this home, show you what we've got, and I think we'll wrap it up there. So we're just gonna eat this sticky rice in the place that sells ice cream next to our house. We're also going ice cream, I've decided. The people are really nice. So here is the sticky rice. You can see all the gear in there. It looks quite good. It is good, I can tell you that. She covers it in that. It's like a um, oily sauce, I don't know what it is. The secret red sauce, it's so delicious, look at that. The pork's really good. Oh, it's hot. Right. Oh my word. Hot. Then in there we've also got the little quail egg. There we go. You've got the um, pork floss which just looks like hair, it's so strange. Just like melts in your mouth. And we've got different little sausages. Like Chinese sausage. Shallot on the top, fried shallot. It is really tasty. So it was 20k this, 20,000 dong, and it's absolutely full of flavour. Like sticky rice can be a bit bland sometimes, but you can see, look at the colour of it, it's like yellow orange. It is not bland. <laughs> not just the rice on its own. With the special sauce. The trees are blowing into our food, yeah? Extra protein. Yeah, so they sell ice cream and the shop's called Kem Tu Chon. I don't know how you pronounce that, but they've got loads of mad flavors. So let me just show you. We've got durian. They've got like taro, mint, coconut. What's that? Cream cheese, mango. There's all kinds of stuff. We've got blueberry, the Viet Quad somewhere. Chocolate, honestly. They've got all kinds of stuff. So we'll get three scoops. It's 15K for three scoops. Ciao. Are you going to serve? Ah. Okay. She's not serious, she's shouting at dad. <laughs> wiping the window for me, thank you, come on. This guy's kids are so cute. Okay, can I get chocolate, chocolate? Oh, three, three. Can I get more more soul ring? Soul ring. Um more what? And then Can you choose the last one? Like right, you pick. You pick the last one, like um, mango. We'll get mango. Mango, mango. Okay. How do you say mango? Zoe, coconut. Zoe. How do you say this? Soy. Soy, soy. Mango, soy. Yeah, mut, mut, soy. It's really good. Just what you need in this heat. Because even at night, it's so hot. Okay. And then we get the blueberry as well, yeah. The blueberry so yes, yes. Cheerfully. It's a so cute digging their hands in and eating it. Proper cheeky. Hello. And then it's like free toppings, so you can put on whatever you want in here. So we've got all kinds of stuff. We've got little fish crackers. We've got cherries, we've got sprinkles, coconut, some sort of raisins. What should we get? What do you like? What is best? Nyan. <laughs> can, can I get uh, this, Nyan. this, this? Yeah, we'll get these and then the coconut, coconut please. Yes. Coconut. Just these two. In there. And then maybe a bit of the jelly as well. And 
these ones. And then this. Perfect, yeah, just a little bit zua. Zua, zua. Zua, Salt? No, thank you. No, 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 no. Okay. That's perfect. Gammon. Oh. The kids are so cute, honestly. We see them literally every day and they're really nice kids. <laughs> so there we go, we got our ice cream. We got the blueberry, the mango and the durian. We've got a few toppings on the top. I don't do sauce. I think sauce on ice cream is stupid. If you have it on ice cream, it's just stupid. <laughs> Ruins it, especially chocolate sauce. I mean, you just can't taste the proper ice cream for it. So this is the official last snack of the day. Ice cream's really good. The durian ice cream's good. The blueberry's really good. It's all really good. Like I said, it's perfect because it's so hot still at night. It's probably hotter because it gets all like clammy and sticky. That, that's perfect. That, for 15 k it's good that. We were just speaking to a Vietnamese auntie and she just pulled some stools out for us and asked, asking us to come and sit in her house. Oh. <laughs> Speak little Vietnamese, little, 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 little. Oh, no. Ice cream. Okay. She's having a watermelon share. She's on the watermelon share. I don't know what's going on here. Oh. Do you want to, do you want to, you want to drink it? I'm lost. I'm not taking your water. <laughs> in any other country in the world. That would be a bloody a spiking, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Banton G. Banton G. Bear bong bien. Okay. Toy Ellis. Ellis. <laughs> toy Toy Ellis. Ellis. Yes. Yes. Alicia. Cảm ơn. Cảm ơn. Bay. 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 Oh, she's 73. Wow, you look very good. You look very good. Healthy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just me trying my best to figure out my few Vietnamese words. Okay, come on. Come on, set me up. Oh, no, no, no. You got it. Toi, 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 hai, hai, mui, hai, mui, nam. Hai, mui, nam, hai, mui, nam. She's like so. Maybe, guy. Maybe, two, two. <laughs> okay. We need. We have to go. We have to go. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. 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 Come on. Thank you. Really love the little Vietnamese auntie there. That was one of the worst conversations I've had in my life. Or just repeatedly, just chatting nonsense. Oh, the auntie's next. The auntie's around here. They're absolutely. They're lovely. They just got kidnapped. Then this one here, I wish I spoke fluent Vietnamese. I'd have to study for like a few months and it'd be so rewarding because you half these people we speak to, they're all so old and I bet they're telling us all kinds of things. It'd just be great to be able to speak to them. So we're back at the house now. I'll round the video off in here. All right then, we're back at the house now. So what we'll do pretty much until we go to bed is work for the rest of the night. When we're not out eating street food and chatting to the grannies, that is pretty much all we're doing. Now I'm just going to say it's really nice to have this time off, time to relax, time to not travel because we've been travelling full time for two years straight, continuously moving with pretty much no breaks, like moving every three, four or five days and it is hard, it does get, it does get to you because you have no routine. So it's really nice to just have a routine, go to the gym, eat good food and just, and just take it slow, like organise everything so yeah um, Vietnam is such a good place for that as well like even in this even in Hue Nhon, like it's a small city but there's so much food everywhere delicious food everything's so affordable the people are amazing and yeah couldn't think of a better place super fast internet and like places like this where we can stay 
So yeah, thank you for watching. We'll end this video with a bit of Vietnamese pomelo, which is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. So yeah, it was a bit of a different one, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Stick around for the next one.